Hello and welcome to Thatcham Town, where the Swans are in action for our final scheduled league game of the season. Now, it feels like yesterday we were stood here at Marlow away in the scorching heat. Obviously, after that 4-3 loss, 37 games later, here we are needing three points to win the league. Yeah, look, I mean, end of the day, we should just be excited about the occasion that we've managed to work ourselves to. You know, the players on that pitch... Everything they've done this season has come to this point. All the hard work has come to this one game. And I think they should just really enjoy the occasion. Yeah, and it's been an immense journey this season. Whatever happens today, incredible through the FA Cup run, the league, obviously what's happened on social media, um, off the pitch has been incredible. On the pitch has probably been even more incredible. Let, let's just hope we can keep it going for one more game today. Absolutely. I mean, you know, not just on the pitch, not just the media, but the community around the football club. It's just taken massive leaps this season and it's just been great yeah and it's amazing to see how many of you actually watch the highlights every week as well i know it might not seem like a lot only two or three thousand people but you have to actually visualize that and talk to the people who watch the highlights and the amount it means to them uh, being able to engage with the club on a, on a weekly basis it, it really does mean a lot as well so just to keep that going as well as long as we can yep totally agree i'm just honestly my nerves are kicking in now so let's get into the lineups it's another unchanged lineup for the Swans today. Liam Allen in goal with fullbacks of Harry Mills and Joe Prattley Jones. Mitch Goff and Joe Hicks are the centre back bearing with a three midfield of Arson, Oikai, Teo Kurtran, and Alex Kelly up front. It's Eddie Simon, John Gilbert, and Jordan Adiemi on the bench. Daryl Shaw, Torin Roberts, Dom Ogan, Jacob Munting, and Ollie Twum. He's got to be careful here, though. Yeah, the Swans have not done too well there, but Oikai. No. But, you know, the midfield, their quality. Hopefully we can control the game oh, without Kelly the field. With and Gilbert's That's away brilliant. here. Can Gilbert? Go on, John. Attack the goal. Oh, it's good defending again. But he's won it back. But Gilbert's still on it. Can you write your name Gilbert on the forecourt, John Gilbert? He can. Oh. Oh. It's a tame effort and the keeper saved. Well, there we go. First shot time for Walton. And you can hear those fans. They appreciate it. You can share in this journey with us. This could be a massive day in the club's history. Probably the biggest day in our ownership. If we can get over the line here. Looks like PJ. Hicksy coming forward. Oh, Joe. Looked like there might have been a foul, but Jordan with the advantage plays. Eddie Emmy, can he take his man on? Tries the feet. He's he going for it. Oh, keep Not bad. Save. Not a bad effort. I think Swans need to shoot some more. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on that goalkeeper behind the goal. Thatcham with the ball in. It's a decent, decent ball to whip. the back post, but Joe Prattley Jones. Oh, oh, and Liam down his throat, really. It looks like there's head a head injury, injury in the aftermath there, but. With a chance to throw the ball into this box here. Here we go, a bit of danger. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, it's a great save from the goalkeeper. How it's a close great was save that? From the Thatcham keeper. How close was that? Eddie's wide. Mitchell. Goff, back stick. Kelly. That's Kelly. Oh. Well won, Arson. Brilliant for Arson. Yeah, goes for it! Oh, oh, it's a, it's a save. With the, was that with the shoulder? Yeah, crazy save. Oh, what a save. Brilliant shot by Arson. Once again, a dangerous a dangerous opportunity for Thatcham. Yep, and they had a free header the from the corner earlier on. Swing it back post. It's a great ball. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Oh, and it just oh about gets away. Gosh. That could have bounced absolutely anywhere. It's a foul. It's a dangerous, dangerous free kick for Thatcham here. The 11 steps up. Oh, it's a goal. Thatcham have scored. Now to John Gilbert. Gilbert slipped Eddie. 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 Oh, so close. Yeah, really. really close. It's well cut out. The John will pick it up. It's 
more like it than the Swans here. That's Kelly. Back to Joe Patrick Jones. Uh, again, and another oh. great cross here. And Teo on his left foot. He's cut back on his right. Can he get the shot? Oh, he skied oh, it. He skied it. He skied it. He it. He skied it. Or did Ted say it? I think Ted's probably said Ted it. Said it yeah. But here's Eddie now. Eddie. And he has and Jordan in the middle. Eddie Emmy. Can Jordan! Eddie? It's in! It's in! It's in! Get it's the equaliser for the team. Swans! It's Eddie Emmy! That's what we needed! It crept past the and keeper. One more. And it's 1 0. Come on! This game is still alive. There's a lot of late challenges coming in here. Oh, and here we go, Gilbert. Can Gilbert, John Gilbert. Goal. brilliant touch. Great touch but it's been out uh, it's great pace shown from the two yeah but he's won the ball back yeah John Gilbert's fighting for Simon it still on the ball now Eddie cut inside can he get the shot away oh, oh it's and it's a corner post, but it's a corner <laughs> oh, here we go and there's a bit of energy in this game now yeah and the Swans are coming alive win this ball in yeah. the air a Hicksy flick it. on would be lovely right now Attack got to win the, the first ball. ball got to win it here Goff it's oh, it's in. It's in. It's in. Yes! It's it's Mitchell Goff! And listen to that, the outpour of emotion! About time! The Swans lead in this game! Has Mitchell Goff written himself in the history books there? I remember that Mitchell Goff header against Basic Stoke. And Teo puts, puts it in. in. Oh, Goff's it's over getting here. pushed there, but is PJ going to win it? He has got it. Oh, PJ. oh, and PJ, brilliant skill. Cut inside. Oh, no. Oh, and no. it is a chance. It is oh. a chance for Eddie Simon. Did it hit his chest? I don't know what it hit. Point blank, but I mean, it was probably the best he could do. I mean, yeah, it was awkward. Let's just say, if I, was, if, if I was with those ultras in the dugout right now. Uh, my stomach hurts, Tom, to be honest. Yeah. Is Jordan on? Jordan is on side. He is on. He's on it's the right side run. of the defender here. He's, Can still, Jordan... he's still got it. Got to chill out. Yeah, Alex on the boat, on the edge. Ah. He needs to find the options. He's Teo. found Teo. Gilbert to Teo. Back to Gilbert. Brilliant play. Oh, that is beautiful football. Oh, oh it's a miss. It's a no. miss. No. And it's Eddie Simon of all people. <laughs> After a fantastic move by the Swans. Oh, of all and the Eddie players. Eddie has moved it past the post. What a move that was. Yeah, my stomach actually hurts. <laughs> like, really hurts. And John, Come on, Eddie. to Jordan. John's going to pick that up. John. Looking for and that John third. Something here. John, John cuts inside. inside. No. Oh, and how John close is that? Over. That is ridiculous. John Gilbert cutting inside. Weaving in between two or three players. <laughs> 90th minute. We're creeping into now. Yeah, I'd imagine there's like five minutes of added. Oh my words. No, boys. Boys, please. And Joe Pratty Jones, it's an awkward one. PJ. What? And the 18 has boys, a little bit of time here. He's done well. And you can't foul it. It's in! It's in. That's it. It's in. I just don't know how they got the ball in that area as well. It's in, and the that's Swans it. have that's why, to find it. That's why the third, the third other, goal the was so important. We missed too many chances. And Joe Brady Jones. Hey, what's the shot? It's gone short to Arson, and that's full time. Minutes. That wasn't three minutes. And that's it. Two all, and the Swans go into the playoffs. Yeah, it's no league title for the Swans this year. Here with the assistant manager Billy Rowley. I guess the only thing I can say is it's a it's a cruel old sport football. And on to Wednesday night. Yeah, I was just thinking that, having a little walk on my own, mate, and um I'm pretty old really. I've watched a lot of football in my life and I've seen last minute winners and you know, second leg drama and all that sort of stuff. And it, it, to be honest with you, like Romantically, it's why we love football, isn't it? it? It's just why we keep turning up. So, first and foremost, like congratulations to, to Basingstoke. You know, good side um, throughout the 38 games. Obviously, deserve to win it. 
Um, really proud of our, our players though. Uh, the fan base we've now got had so many here today, made it a great occasion for us. Just shame we couldn't get over the line, but yeah, it's back in our hands on Wednesday. Just got to pick ourselves up and, and deliver then, mate. And yeah, back to the confidence in the players. I'm, I look around at our players and, and I've got no hesitation that, that I think we can deliver in that. Um, sadly, in football, there's just sometimes elements you can't control. Probably people can guess what, what I mean by that. Um, uh, yeah, but that's what is what it is, mate. So we just move on. Yeah, obviously it's going to be one where we have to lick the wounds tonight. But again, not a huge amount of time to turn around. Uh, home to Northwood on Wednesday night, and it's one of those where we have to rally the troops and pack the place to the back rafters once again. Yeah, said the same to the players. It's it's nigh on impossible to say something um, of any benefit to players in that situation when they're so low emotionally. For the most part, they probably just want people to shut up, you know what I mean? Get their heads down, get changed and move on. But 24 hours in general, you're allowed to have a, have a sulk, have a moan, um, relive some moments in the game where you might have done something differently. But probably Monday morning, you've got to get up and put your socks on and get ready to work again, mate. And that's what we've got to do. Um, and I've got full confidence in the, in the players to do that. We've got some experienced bodies in there, people that have been around football for a while. It always throws you ups and downs, and yeah, we just got to just got to prepare for Wednesday now. One eye on that and go again. Yeah, I think for what it's worth, again, um, our home record and obviously how we play in front of crowds. Do you think that could play into our hands going into the playoffs, or is it still 50-50 as all playoffs are? Yeah, I was actually going to add to, to the last point I made there. He just reminded me about the about the fans. Like it, they have no idea how much they help with these things. You know, obviously, like I say, we couldn't deliver today, but. The boys will be low in there, energy morale will be low at this point, but I'm sure, in fact I know, when when they step out on the pitch on Wednesday night and they see the hub packed, there's no way they're not going to be full of energy and ready to go. So, yeah, I, I really hope, you know, appreciate everybody that came down today, bottom of my heart, all the boys do as well, but we need to do it again Wednesday and do it again Saturday and I'm sure we'll deliver for you. 38 games later, the season is not yet done. This wouldn't be football without its ups and downs, and the Swans have let it slip at the death here at Thatcham Town. We'll see you at home on Wednesday to Northwood.